This is the Sunlu FC01 filament connector and it's a handy little tool. When you're 3D printing you often end up with a lot of leftover filaments and at first this may seem insignificant but with time that eventually starts to add up. They can either end up in the bin or if you're lucky enough they're used on a tiny 1 gram print like this tiny whistle. Let's take a look at this connector which can hopefully help with that. So in the box you get a user manual that just never ends, approximately 200 of these Teflon tubes, a USB cable and the filament connector itself, also known as the Fusion Splicer. In terms of initial impressions, seems like an okay product, nothing extravagant, it does feel a little cheap and plasticky though. So in the front you have the user interface where you should be able to control the type of filament as well as the temperature. It does set some temperatures by default but you can change these if you like. The charging port is at the back here. On the top it's got the cover for the protection and then the heat cover that opens with this button. And that's the heating slot where the join will be made. There's also a slot here that cuts the tube off once you're done with the fusion of the filaments. It's made for filaments with a diameter of 1.75mm which is the standard across the industry. It can reach temperatures up to 240 degrees to help fuse those materials together. And it's not very big, measuring just 80 by 110 centimeters, so easily fits into smaller spaces. The first thing you have to do is plug it in, turn it on using the button on the user interface, find some leftover filaments, put the filament at a slight angle to help them fuse together. Get a Teflon tube and insert those from both sides. Wait for the temperature to reach its target and then add the filament in. Now this part is probably the hardest because the nature of these filaments is to bend inwards since they've been in that state for so long. So you really have to hold these together and that's not easy when you also have to control the connector. Once you do manage to hold the filaments and then close the heating cover, it's recommended to hold them together pushing slightly inwards for up to 7 seconds. The connector will then beep and that's when you can take it out. Again, hold the filaments together because this will end up splitting as it tries to go back into that shape. Let that cool for a bit and then place them into this cutting slot to cut off the tube. And there it is. Now even though that may look easy, it most certainly isn't. And it's not only me. Just a simple search on the Bamboo Handy app shows you that multiple people have had the same problems and to assist with that, you can use some models they've created. Like this one which holds the filaments in place before you place it in the heating slot. So I've managed to get these filaments connected in the end but without these supporting 3D prints, it would have been impossible. So instead of the filaments going to waste now, you can end up with products like these, which is a squeezable travel cable organizer. So final thoughts. This might just be the most half-baked product I've ever used. It's an amazing concept that every 3D printing enthusiast wants, but it's really not practical. I don't think Sun Lu have thought about the problems people face when fusing these and just created slash released a product but most of the work actually falls outside the fusion itself. It's the holding of the filaments that should have been the focus and that's not just my opinion. The fact that people had to come up with these designs tells you everything. The connector costs $45 which adds to the frustration. It's not meant to be some kind of a cheap budget fix. This is literally their premium product for connecting filaments. So I hope Sun Lu can look at the feedback from customers and improve this product because there is so much potential. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.